we started with this little glass bottle. Then we moved, I believe, this one, then to this one, then to this one. So today I'm gonna be making a sea altar. Stay to the end for a guided meditation to cleanse, restore, and protect your energy. Today we're going to be making an altar dedicated to the sea or whatever body of water is near where you live. It could be the ocean, a river, a lake, a creek, one of my favorite bodies of water where I always played growing up. I currently live close to a bay. So I'm making a bay altar. I'm also going to call it a mermaid altar because my daughter loves mermaids. She is obsessed with the Little Mermaid right now, which is pretty cool since it was out when I was a kid. So first thing, I'm going to clean my altar up. I've been gathering items throughout the week that I want to use. So today I finally decided today's the day we're going to do it. I'm gonna cleanse this bowl. This spray has water, lavender essential oil, and rosemary essential oil in it. This is some hay that I collected with my children at a local park. It had dried so beautifully on the side of this hill. It was where all the grass had just, you know, settled down for the winter to take a long rest and it had all dried and there was these long, beautiful pieces. I actually foraged it to make a little broom, which I started making, and then we got sidetracked. The filler for my bowl of plenty. I have my abalone shell. I'm gonna place that in there. I have a wide assortment of seashells that I've been collecting for a long time. Some of these I collected with my children. These rocks I love. We collected these around the bay. This beautiful beach area. I have some sticks. You know I love sticks. I can't wait to add this piece of driftwood I found in one of my latest foraging trips around the bay. Dried lilies. And then I have these beautiful necklaces that I found that I thought were perfect to just look like my jewels spelling over. So I have this beautiful pink and white shell necklace. And I will come through and play with this altar Say I have the sea altar set. I'm not gonna just leave it here the whole time. I'm gonna be over here interacting with it. My daughter will be in here interacting with it. So we'll be adding to and moving around the energy so it doesn't go stagnant. The most powerful rituals that you are going to do are gonna be ones that you keep interacting with. Whether it's a mantra or affirmation that you say every day or write down so many times each day. So when I come and sit here at my special spot, I'm gonna get boosted by the energy of this altar. And I have everything kind of just going like a wave. So as I add things, move things around throughout the week or month, the energy is gonna just keep flowing with the beautiful rose petals for protection. This is a favorite ritual of mine, just taking dried rose petals and crumbling them in my hands over my altar for added protection for my energy. I feel like this is also bringing in love so that I'm pulling in more love, law of attraction style. I love the seahorse picture. I have a lot of beach theme items all over my house and this was just hanging in one of the hallways and I'm like, oh, I have to add this. So I have all the items here, but I had yet to have a chance to actually go through and clean. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just taking items out of the way.
I can come and take in some of this protection energy that I already placed in here. We have this beautiful bowl that we made up, this beautiful altar bowl. This just looks so gorgeous already. These two items and this nice clean altar couple candles that I'm really excited to use. I have this beautiful pink one. And then this one is another beach theme. cleansing energy that we are cultivating and this is another rose item it's a rose scented candle i love it it's a persephone candle so it has a nice strong rose scent good for protection this is my clear quartz obelisk i have a calling to collect five of these this is my first one i'm still looking for three more if anybody knows where to find beautiful clear quartz obelisks please let me know size of that rose quartz Beautiful. little rose petal mini altar I have this concentrates a lot of energy clears the room very quickly of negative energy and helps to reboost it I don't know if I need this heavy of a uh, clearing energy in this back room this back room is definitely more of my relaxation or meditation so I don't think I need this back here Okay, I just got an idea. I want to add one of my beautiful new pink roses to the altar. And then I also have this protection candle. I'll grab it so you can see it better. Could find a spot here as well. It just it really needs to balance it out because I'm feeling more of the blue greens over here with the pink and whites and yellows over here. This one, pop that one in. Comment down below and let me know which was your favorite orientation of these objects so far. Normally I would put this in some water. Part of me just kind of wants to lay it out so it's like a very luxurious display. Like, oh, I just have so many roses. I can just let this one lay out and dry out right away. multitude of things happening with the energy of the sea altar we have some cleansing elements we have some protection elements at some point I plan on adding a, a water element to it we have the shells which do serve as a water element just for me like another like a water energy like having the actual water I really enjoy just having even like a small glass of water but I do want to have one with some tea light and this is just what happens I think that I'm done and I have it all figured out and then I find another item like these pistachio shells that I have been saving there are a number of uses for pistachio shells I intuitively knew that there was some type of use for them so I started saving them even before I learned of the uses but I've also saved this beautiful jar that I have I didn't even think to use these shells until I had to take them out of this jar that I usually put my tea lights floating in water. So I said, well, what other bottle could I put these shells in? And then I'm like, wait a second, shells, beach, sea altar, it just goes together. Like I might have to write some kind of little spell, incantation, something on paper and roll it up to have the message in the bottle. I'm getting so excited with this thought of doing this. <laughs> I have my message to put in my bottle. It's my message from my higher self to me. 
and a little quick breathing exercise. And I decided what message I was gonna put in. I said, I want something to raise my frequency. Right. And then as I was writing it, it kind of came to me and now I'm thinking that's totally gonna to raise my frequency. There's a lot about love and we are love and I love you. And just, it's, it's just a quick love bomb. I can keep it in this bottle and when I'm back here meditating, I'll have a message for my higher self to quickly raise my frequency. And again, that's gonna help with my productivity and relaxation. So it all comes full circle. So I found this teal Tiffany box that I had from a pair of glasses from years ago. And I was keeping it to store things in like jewelry, necklaces, probably socks, things like that. I had um, eyeglasses wipes stored in there. So I always keep these little boxes. Anytime you get things, cell phones, glasses, jewelry, things that come in these nice paper type of boxes, they are great for you know, organizing your closet or setting an altar. So I then took some tissue paper I had saved and I moved some of these shells over here. I now feel that there's much more balance. Little tiny palm tree, this beautiful beachy energy and my beautiful seahorse picture. I just, I feel so relaxed already. Because this is what I was called to do ourselves for our meditation. You can now close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out all the stress of the day. I want you to visualize the most beautiful beach you've ever seen. You're so relaxed here. There's nowhere you need to be. A light breeze from the ocean softly kisses your hair. You're more relaxed than you've been all day. As you lie here, the restorative soft from the ocean is healing anything that needs to be healed. And you are feeling restored. Stay here as long as you wish, and when you are ready, you can slowly open your eyes and continue to have a beautiful day. Thank you for spending this time with me.